Hello. I haven't vlogged for probably 10 days. Yeah, because it's April the 10th and I haven't vlogged at all in April so far. Um, but today I'm gonna go on a boat cruise on the harbor uh, for a friend's birthday, so I'm super excited. Okay, I'm just on my way to the wharf. I've got the goods and the boat is leaving in about 20 minutes. Okay, I am back on land and it's actually Monday now, so two days later and it was so much fun. Probably one of my favorite things I've done in Sydney, but I completely forgot filming what I needed to film on that day. So now I came here to beautiful Centennial Park to um, talk about what this video is actually about. I received a few questions from you guys um, to talk a little bit more about what my experience was like coming to Australia, also around visas and um, how I found a job and all these things. So I've picked seven questions that I want to talk about in this video. So let's jump right in. Okay, question number one. What visa were you on when you came to Australia? I came here on a working holiday visa, which is I guess the case for most people because it's a very easy visa to get because you basically just need to meet the age requirement um, which I did just and then after my first year I went on a student visa and then ultimately went on to a partner visa which now allowed me to become a permanent resident because back in 2017 I met my partner and that sort of changed a few things for me as well in terms of the time that I want to spend in Australia. The birds might be a little bit loud, I'm sorry. <laughs> Question number two, what requirements are there to get a visa? That really depends on what type of visa you want to get um, because there's a large variety of different visas and different requirements for each of those visas. I find that temporary visas are fairly easy to obtain if it's like a working holiday visa or a student visa. For example, for the working holiday visa, you basically just need to be under 31 years old. Now, if you are after an employment visa or a permanent residency visa through work, then you probably have to submit a lot of documents and also go through a skill assessment and make sure that your profession is on the skilled occupation list to qualify for that particular visa. Okay, number three, how likely is it to get permanent residency? Well, it's not easy. <laughs> it took me pretty much four years. It was on the day four years from arriving in the country to getting permanent residency. Um, and unless you have family here or you work in a profession that Australia really needs, then it's really not easy to get a um, permanent residency visa. But throughout the last 12 months, I've learned how much Australia is depending on immigration. So there might actually be some more opportunities for long-term visas coming out of this once the Australian border is open again. So look out for those opportunities. You might get lucky. Okay, question number four. Do you renew your visa regularly or did you apply for a permanent residency? So I'm on a permanent residency visa, but what people don't know, maybe, is that you actually still have to renew your visa every five years or what you need to renew is your travel facility. So after five years, your travel facility on your visa expires. And in order to return to Australia, you need to renew that travel facility. And what they do is they basically check in if you in the last five years have lived in Australia for um, at least three to be able to renew that travel facility. So for example, if I 
in the last five years lived overseas for more than two years, then I would have a hard time renewing that travel facility because then the government sort of thinks, you know, why do you need a permanent residency if you don't reside in Australia? Which kind of makes sense, right? So if you are on a permanent residency visa, you can live abroad for up to two years in this five-year uh, period because otherwise you might lose your permanent residency. Okay, what places are best for the start? That really depends on what you want to do and how much money you have when you come here. If you want a corporate job, then you might want to stick to the city. If you, you know, want to do the van life and the whole backpacker experience, then you could start off in rural areas where they do fruit picking and then just travel around. That also is better for your budget because it's not as expensive, especially if um, you probably won't pay as much for rent as you would in a bigger city like Sydney. So how did you search for a job and how successful was that? Now when I arrived I actually didn't know what I was gonna do if I would you know stay in Sydney and work in a corporate job or if I would move around and do fruit picking and those uh, temporary jobs and travel. But two weeks after I arrived I realized that I wanted to try to find a job in my area. So I started searching, I applied for three jobs and one of them worked out and I'm still with that company today. Um, and I think it was a combination of luck and timing because my company was looking for someone who had a little bit of experience in a certain area that was very niche. I was lucky enough to have that so that's why I ended up getting the job and I'm still there. Okay and the last question how much money did I save up before coming to Australia? Now I only really decided to move to Australia 10 months before I arrived. So I didn't have much time to prepare myself and save up a lot of money, but I did manage to save up a good starter budget, if you will, by, you know, selling stuff and putting money aside every month and just be very mindful of my spending. So I'm actually thinking about making a video about the whole money thing and how much budget I had arriving in Australia and the differences between the living expenses in Germany and Australia. So if you're interested in that, let me know in the comments below and I'll make a video about that soon. Okay, I think I need to leave because it's getting darker and um, the park actually closes in about 20 minutes. So I need to go back to my motorcycle and head out before the gates close. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching. If you, if you want to do another Q&A like this, then let me know in the comments below and leave your questions below and I will answer them in one of my next videos. Um, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell to get notified when I post new videos and I'll see you next week. Take care.